Hello everybody, um, it's G-Man here, back at it again. We got a new Roblox Kibbity Sage events update, and we got a lot to go over. We got new looks, as you can see, new characters, and also new weapons. So you can see we got uh, this map choice over here, but we're going to go to the default map for now. We'll come back to that later. So, starting off with the scientist cameraman, he has a base HP of 100 and costs 10 points to get. He has the same abilities as normal cameraman. Main difference is he starts off with anti-parasite gun and a stun gun. Now, as you can see, the anti-parasite gun has a new look now, which is great. Now it looks more accurate to the Skippity videos, and Sun Yun is in a weapon, of course. Now keep in mind, the anti-parasite gun can also stun as well, but it has a longer cooldown. But the stun gun can shoot faster, so it has less cooldown. So you can decide whether or not to get the stun gun, but I'd say you'd stick with the anti-parasite gun unless you're doing some weird no damage run. But anyway, um, let's try this with uh, some toilets. Oh yeah, one weird detail is now they dress them as camera guys in this game. I don't know if that's for copyright reasons or not. Probably is, but anyway. Let's try a skippity man. Now it's called toilet man for some reason. Stuns them pretty well. So there you go. Tries with the anti-parasite gun. Does the same thing. But to me, it looks like the stun gun actually stuns longer than the anti parasite gun. So I guess that's one advantage. But anyway, let's move on to the next character. Now, the next character is Upbraided Ninja Man. The main thing about him is now he has a jetpack that flies pretty damn fast. Just press double space bar for that. Yeah, he has a base HP of 500 and he costs 200 points. He only has one new ability and it's Z. It allows him to instantly kill any small toilets. So let's try that. Let's try this against the Hydra toilet. Let's see if this works. Time come for your pickup. Nope, that doesn't work. Let's try a different toilet. Let's just try a titanium toilet. Any second now, there we go. It's mainly has a jetpack now, they could fly pretty fast and Z to kill instantly any small toilets. Now moving on to the sharpshooter camera or camera woman. She has three abilities. Mainly, of course, can snipe. First of all, the shift uh, is just actually a sprint, surprisingly. One of her abilities, which I think is pretty good, she can call down a helicopter. But ouch! And puts down a bunch of cameramen for small cameraman and two large cameramen. Regarding the shop sharpshooter ability, I think it only shoots one bullet, but it should do a lot of damage. So how about we try this against one large toilet? So you can see the bullet stuns them as well. Well, it does take a long time to reload. How about we try this against multiple large titanium toilets? All right, so if there's multiple large toilets, you can keep on shooting. I guess it'll keep on shooting until until the head goes back up. We try this against a lot of titanium normal toilets instead. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, got them all. To get two shot, I guess pretty much any small toilet. If I can two shot a titanium toilet. Camera Moon has a base HP of 600 health and costs 200 points. Now the next character, which is kind of out of the way, it's just right below the Titans, is pretty much him, but this is the fuck Boom himself. Basically, uh, he's pretty good. He has a uh, base HP of 2000, but he also costs 1200 points. And you need to go to the Limbo, which means you have to go out of bounds over here somewhere. And I showed that in my previous video of secrets and glitches. Um, I'll probably put a link above somewhere. Um, but basically you just need a basic cameraman or any 
normal cameraman in shift slide out of here. But anyway, regarding that, his abilities pretty much summon other troops, which is actually pretty great. His first ability, which I think I have to show teleporting over there, is he can teleport pretty far. Further than a normal TV man. Maybe as far as a TV Titan, I think. But let's see. About to that lamppost to here. Okay, but anyway. First ability. Can summon a bunch of normal cameraman guys. Uh, second ability. Summons a speaker man and gives you a force field. Heal you and give you invincibility. He can summon a big speaker man. Pushbacks and toilets, of course. Next one. It's someone a bunch of TV man. And I can stun some toilets, of course. I think that's six abilities, yeah. Shift to teleport. F to summon camera guys. G to summon speaker man. X to summon large speaker man. And Q to summon TV man. And we're moving on to the next one. Now, I actually don't have this character yet. Uh, because... The way to unlock it is kind of difficult. You need to unlock it by going to the Ya Kids game. I am dead. Not big surprise. Ah, uh, there is a teddy bear here. But now it looks like it's more evidence. I'm not sure what the abilities are yet, but I will make a video on that later. Anyway. We're gonna move on to the new looks of the game and new weapons as well now. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this in my nature update video. Yeah, it's a revival cannon, requires a night remote badge. I forgot to mention that it is mainly for titans because they can't really reach below. But also just useful in general because you can shoot from anywhere and fight anyone in multiplayer. All right, so the new weapons, the only really new weapon is the stun gun. Um, it costs 10 cash. I already showed it uh, with the scientist cameraman, so I'm saying much. But I really just want to show the price mainly. It's right over here. It's uh, kind of out of the way of all the other weapons. So yeah, moving on to uh, the new looks and other stuff. All right, so one of the new things about the default map exclusively is a new badge you can get. And it's called Secret One. It's uh, somewhere up in the tower of the default map. If you go from spawn, it's right up on that tower. Yeah, you can do this with uh, you can do this with any character. You just go up here. You look at uh, this game grader dead in the eye, and he does it. See? Yeah, and then you get the patch right there. So uh, new looks around this map, particularly. Nothing much has changed other than. That your kid's teddy bear looking more brighter now. And there's a spotlight on it, but other than that, I don't think there's much difference. Let's check out the other maps. So we'll go to the classic map first. Now, the classic map, if you guys remember, was pretty much the same map used before they added most of the new characters. Basically, this is the same map they used when when they released the game. And for some weird reason, the revival cannon is way back here. Yeah, good luck blocking over here each time I want it, but I mean, if you're a titan, then it wouldn't be a problem getting there. Yeah, this one big tower over here. I think there used to be someone else here, but now it's just this character. Just one of the game creators. That's pretty much all the secrets regarding this classic map. If they change anything, I don't think they did. I think some things are just moved around a bit. Anyway, let's move on to the next map then. Now this custom map is, I think a reference to the actual map used in the Skippy Toy Sage video. It's pretty much almost an exact upcut and the revival cans for some reason random places again. Anyway, um, if you recognize this street right here, I think this is from like one of the third or fourth episodes, I think. It's like when the first big scoopity toy came out or something. I'm pretty sure most people will recognize this block. I think this right here was an interrogation room with one of the scoopity toilets. Yeah, there's all these spray paints everywhere all over the map. Some toilets scattered around randomly though. For some reason at the top of roofs. Cut. 
Anyway, let's move on to some other things. The spawn guide here is actually different. There's uh, this logo. This logo is for the Titan Kim Man or the Alliance of Kim Man or TV Man. It's mainly this mode right here, which is just titled What. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be some insane mode, but uh, right now it doesn't work. Unless it does work and there's something that I'm missing, but if there is, let me know in the comments below. Now there are new enemies, so let's try that. They also changed some of the names of these, so I think the ultra fast toilet, which is I think the glitch toilet, uh, got a big buff. It moves way faster now and does more damage. I wonder if I can use my sleep ability. Oh, I can. Okay. So yeah, if you got if you got we got upgraded ninja cameraman, you can use that against glitch toilet Z ability. Another one they added is upgraded corrupt camera speaker man. Problem is, it looks kind of broken right now. Does it do damage? No, it doesn't. It doesn't even do anything right now. So it yeah, it's just kind of here. I'm assuming that would probably get fixed later on. Oh no, no, here it is. Yeah, it's went all the way at the bottom, but it, it spawns in the ground. Right here. Okay, that it does do damage if close enough to it. Wait a second. Okay, those those animations look right though. Nothing looks discombobulated. I think it is doing damage from the foot. Yeah, it is, but it doesn't, the shooting ability doesn't seem to work. So I'm pretty sure the shooting ability will affect, but other than that, the bottom one seems to work better than the top one for some reason. So hopefully they get rid of that extra option. Yeah, another uh, toilet, which is called a window toilet. I don't know where it is. It gets spawned in this building. Hold on, let's try a different map. There it is. I don't know the picture it's on, but I don't know who that is. Basically this toilet, um, does a lot of damage, it can kill you, but I think it doesn't insta-kill you. Um, if I go into like a more beachy, more beefy unit, yeah, it'll do like around 6,000 damage, yeah, 6,000 damage. So yeah, if you don't have uh, 6,000 health, you're uh, screwed. If I try and squash it though, um, as you see here, it's, uh, it's gonna take your lifetime to flush that. It's not gonna work. But I wonder if I can... Okay, so... <laughs> if you have the upgraded ninja cameraman, you can, you can still unsecure it. So that's great. Uh, in the lobby, finally, um, we have Gary over here. And the thing is, you can try and flush him. But uh, if you uh, try and flush him, you uh, kind of get soft block and can't move. So whatever you do, don't flush Gary, guys. Gary will make you stuck forever in this uh, game, so uh, yeah. So don't flush Gary. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'll cover the next update if, there, if another one does come around. Um, tell me if I missed anything. I'll try and maybe say something about it. I don't know. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. And you may find yourself living in a shotgun shack. And you may find yourself in another part of the world. And you may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile. And you may find yourself in a beautiful house with a beautiful wife. And you may ask yourself, well, how did I get here? Very big place called I There for all the holy dark Very big place called I For the flowing young